For three centuries, Americans have pioneered and pushed on, dreamed and dared, toiled and tamed a wilderness to make from a handful of seekers after freedom a nation of 130 millions. We fought a war to win our freedom, a war to win the freedom of the seas, a war to preserve our union, a war to preserve democracy. Daniel Webster once said, God grants liberty only to those who love it and are always ready to guard and defend it. When liberty is threatened, when the nation is in peril, Americans unite. Now we are united as never before. Now every American asks only, what can I do to help my country? What can I do to help win this war? Not all of us can make munitions. Not all of us can build the guns. Not all of us can build the ships. Not all of us can build the fighting planes. Nor can all of us grow the food. But all of us have one big job to do. All of us must save for victory. Deny ourselves the lesser things. We deserve liberty only so long as we are willing to sacrifice and work for it. Fifty-four million men and women, more Americans than ever in our history, are working today more and more on war production jobs. Now, 13 civilian workers back up each man in the fighting forces. This is total war, everybody's war. Into the pockets of Americans, this war production is pouring a hundred million dollars a day. If we are to halt a ruinous rise in the cost of living, if we are to avoid inflation, if we are to win this war, every penny that can be spared must go into war saving stamps and bonds. That's why you see the Minuteman wherever you turn. That's why you hear warning voices. Buy defense bonds and stamps today and every day. Buy United States war bonds and stamps. Put every dollar you can into defense bonds sold by any bank, post office, or savings and loan association. Remember the last time we had a war production boom? Remember the silk shirts we bought? Remember after the war when the merry-go-round broke down? We had bread lines. Brother, can you spare a dime? The sorriest song we ever sang in this rich land of ours. Was it only 10 years ago? Was it only 10 years ago that men and women out of a job were selling apples on street corners? After this war, we don't want to sing that sour song again. Brother, the time to spare the dime is now, while the dollars are rolling in. And a lot of Americans know it. We railroad men take the long haul view. We can't see anything but a clear track ahead to victory, but we've all got to get aboard and roll. As an airplane worker, I ask all of you to help support our armed forces by buying more war bonds and stamps. As our boys would say, you buy them, we'll fly them. This is a working man's country and I'm doing my part to keep it that way. Buy more bonds today, buy now. Therefore, it's the duty of every citizen, regardless of race or religion, to buy bonds to the limit. Our union is asking its members to invest every dollar it can in these bonds and with God's help and your dollars, we'll win this war for democracy. Individuals, workers in business and industry, all buying bonds, but not systematically. Not on any regular plan until the United States Treasury Department developed a payroll savings plan. And here's how one company put it to work. 
A lot of us in the International Harvester were buying bonds before the attack of Pearl Harbor. Yes, and we were also building a lot of equipment for national defense. And tools for food production, too. Then in the dawn over Pearl Harbor, war, and American industry fighting mad rolls up its sleeves. Military and production engineers pool their skills, redesign plants and machinery to do the impossible and speed up production. At International Harvester, new furnaces pour out more steel. Military tractors, prime movers, roll faster and faster off Harvester's assembly lines. Big things and small things, small but important, pour into the hurrying stream of war materials. Shell parts and shell packing stops Shells and more shells speed to the troops. Carriages for anti-tank guns. Mounts for anti-aircraft guns to protect our merchant ships. Special motor trucks, four and six wheel drive. More and more military orders and from its plants and branches and offices from coast to coast, harvester men join the colors. More than 2,500 so far bringing it home to the men and women of Harvester that this is their war, every American's war. But those who stay behind, already doing their utmost, want to do still more. Fred, ever since Pearl Harbor, I've been telling the wife, this month we buy a bond, but somehow we cannot save the money to do so. Don't I know, Harry, a little here and a little there and no bond. But couldn't the company form a plan whereby they take out so much each week, and that way we never miss it? I understand the United States Treasury is starting just such a plan. It's called the Payroll Savings Plan. That's a good idea. I'm all for it. Over the length and breadth of America, 53,000 Harvester employees hear the simple details of this payroll plan for buying bonds through the company. Members of the labor union locals, following the lead of all the national bodies of organized labor, take a big part in making the payroll savings plan a success. Signed up for bonds today, did you? I'll say so. It'd be swell to have an estate saved up when this is all over. In real American fashion, it's a contest to see which part of the company can reach the 100% goal first. Signs, scoreboards, thermometers, and other devices urge the workers on and show daily progress. From department after department, telegrams are sent to soldiers, sailors, and Marines, some of them halfway around the globe. Every department wants to add, and we're the first in the plant, too. The old American spirit of beat the other fellow. Department competes against department plant against plant. While in the general office building in Chicago, floor challenges floor to see which shall first display the flag. The plant at Canton, Illinois, sets up a huge V for victory and fills it to the top.
Canton Works is the first plant to get its Minuteman flag and certificate of honor from the United States Treasury. Chosen to receive these honors for the plant at a noonday ceremony is Carl Painter of the Assembly Department, one of whose sons has become one of those American immortals, the defenders of Wake Island. Corporal John S. Painter of the United States Marine. I guess John will have to wait a while to see this flag. He fought a great fight. He's held a prisoner at war now. The Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, the United States Treasury send representatives to the unveiling of Minuteman flags at plant after plant as they go over the top for war savings bonds. Sales office after sales office wins its flag. At the Milwaukee Works, the Treasury's banner is received by Dirk van der Molen of Thrifty Hollenstock, a skilled worker in the core room. My son Leo was aboard the USS Jacob Jones, which was sunk by enemy action off the Atlantic coast the day after his 18th birthday. At the East Moline Works, after all its 1,900 employees have signed up for bonds, Richard Mannion, a millwright, tells fellow workers why he was chosen to receive the Minuteman flag. My son Paul was on a battleship Arizona, sunk by the Japs in Pearl Harbor. He died at his post. I have two more sons in the service, one somewhere in the Pacific War front now. In every plant and sales office, these ceremonies are held until finally in Chicago, the entire International Harvester Company receives its honors from the Treasury for this remarkable achievement. But Harvester's 53,000 workers are not stopping for applause, richly as they deserve it. 10% from everybody, every payday, that is the national goal. The workers of Harvester are now only one group among more than 100,000 companies whose workers are now buying war savings bonds regularly under this simple payroll savings plan. Everybody, every payday, 10%. Each week, more and more American workers, wherever there is a payroll, join those who are sparing a dime for freedom. One dime in every dollar. 10% to hold down the rising cost of living. 10% that'll be there whenever they need it. A dime out of every dollar. Every payday means a billion dollars saved every month. We are here to carry on the greatest enterprise in the world, to pass it on to Americans yet unborn, somehow stronger, finer, and fairer than it was when it came to us. We are marching towards shadowy mountains, but beyond lies a new frontier. Once again, Americans must be pioneers in a new world. If our generation be fools, we shall lose our birthright to those who covet it and wait for us to weaken. We are Americans, 130 million strong. We shall not weaken. <laughs>